Welcome back to the Acoustic Shop channel. I am John here today with our good buddy, Matt Harp. You're back one more time. I'm back again. What? Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna be talking about Breedlove guitars again, because that's what he's great at, and, and he knows more than I do. So we're gonna go through that, talk about this Discovery S just after this. Well, we got you in here again, Matt. It is great to have you back. I cannot believe you agreed to come back one more time. <laughs> we put him through so much suffering and pain last time, and yet somehow you decided to come against back. Against my better judgment, I am here. I'm By the here. way, it's really against your better judgment. <laughs> you really ought to check in on that better judgment yeah. thing. Um, we're glad to have Matt back, a fabulous guitar player. Again, if you've not looked up his music, do that. He's out on ma all the major social channels, as well as any place to find his music. You can find it on all the, the best sources for your streaming, as well as purchasing. So do check that out, Matt Harp Music. Uh, really good stuff. Matt, it's good to have you back because mm -hmm. we are talking about Breed Loves. You're a fan. I'm yes. a fan. We both uh, enjoy what they do. We decided to take, kind of take a break. We usually talk about the high-end guitars, but we're going to talk about the Discovery Series today because that's their entry. Before we get into that, I do want to again encourage you to please like and subscribe the channel. That is what keeps us going. Make sure that we can afford to pay all of the pop tarts that we have to pay to Matt in order to get him in here. It's expensive these days. I don't know if you guys know yeah. this, but inflation's yeah, going they're on the rise through the roof. <laughs> pop tarts are getting crazy. Um, but please do that, and we'd love to hear from you in the comments as well. Uh, like always, we do have a complete performance video where we uh, we try to pretend we were rock and roll Eagles, uh, mm -hmm. vintage Eagles there. You knew it and stuff. I, I'm trying to pretend I know what I do, <laughs> I'm doing. But anyway, uh, check that out as well as at the end of this, we'll have a tone demo so you can skip all the rambling and talking that we're going to do when we descri or describe this particular guitar right here, which is the Discovery S. Um, Breedlove, as you know, has made a lot of big changes over the last few years, especially pushing uh, sustainability. They are really doing some amazing stuff uh, with that. And this is, uh, this, the entire line now is, is part of what they call their eco collection. And I'll get into the specifics of that. The Discovery Series is their kind of entry into uh, the Breedlove line. They do have a version that is even more simple than this with uh, no gloss finishes, uh, satin finish, no electronics, it's j no cutaways, just very basic version. But we're covering the next level up, which is Discovery S, uh, has the gloss finish on this. This particular one has a mahogany top as well as mahogany back and sides. Um, and it also has an 11 16 inch nut width with a mahogany neck, oven call, fretboard, and bridge. Now, features that uh, Breedlove's really famous for, one is the pinless bridge system, as well as the offset or uh, strange peg head, as they like to say. There is reason behind it. We have a whole video. It's actually a whole bunch of fun uh, where we kind of discovered what and talked a little bit about why uh, they do this. It is truly about string, uh, the the uh, direction the string goes after it gets the nut. It's not fanning out so it doesn't get caught in here, but it has a more direct line uh, with that, and that's the reason behind that shape. You're also holding one. It's a different series, but again, shows that, uh, you know, breed love look and sound um, a little bit. Like I said, that's an upper end line. Now the Eco Series, what they've done is really cool, and I don't know if you got to read that much up on it, mm -hmm. but what they're doing right now is they're one of the only lines that is doing a laminate that is all the same uh, all the way through. Now a lot of companies are doing laminates, um, and it's been known for a lot, of, a lot of years, that they do a inside of, like in this case, if it was a mahogany guitar, it'd be inside and the outside layer, of the, of the plywood or laminate would be mahogany with some sort of white wood in the middle. Could be birch, could be, I mean, they literally say white wood. It could be anything. Yeah. Um, and, and again, that doesn't quite give you as much of the tonal variance uh, that you would see out of most tone woods. Sure. You want to get that. So one thing that they do promise on their guitars is, unless you know they mark it as so, it will be that same wood all the way through. Um, the other thing that they can also guarantee you as part of the ecosystem is, 
all of the woods in these guitars are sustainably harvested. And that's amazing when you start talking about a $500 level guitar or below, uh, even with the lower end of the, of the Discovery Series, because they can guarantee you they know exactly where it is. This is marked as African mahogany. Now, there are so many variants of mahogany that, that you know, a lot of times they'll say mahogany on there. It could be all kinds of variants that are not necessarily a standard mahogany. It looks a lot like it, but they cannot always guarantee that. And Tom has spent a lot of time going through and making sure that every guitar has a sustainability. He knows exactly where it was harvested. He knows exactly what the chain has been all the way through its production and exactly the species. So that's, that's something I think is really important for yeah. guitar players nowadays. Um, we talk about sustainability. I think all guitar players, you know, we all love the idea of, not all, but most of us love the idea of sustainability. We never think about the instrument that we're actually playing. Right, right. right? We're making music. Mm -hmm. Nobody goes, well, I wonder if this guitar was, was done sustainably sure, or, sure. or, you know, the right way. So Tom has definitely spent a lot of uh, expense on that, and I, I don't, we definitely admire him uh, for that. This one, like I said, will come with uh, Fishman, the Precis, already uh, m built into it. So you will have your already mounted on tuner, uh, a volume control phase and contour uh, built into this guitar. These are pretty well player ready guitars at the, you know, uh, under $600 price point, which is, is, is really nice to have. Um, again, very comfortable play. Their concert series or concert body, that's what you're playing, correct? Mm -hmm. It's a concert yes. body. It's very comfortable. It is a little bit deeper than a standard, uh, you know, double O slash triple O. It's in between that kind of space. Um, a little bit different than even Taylor's concert uh, size body. Yeah. Uh, so it, you know, gives you a fuller, richer sound. Again, I like that this particular one does have the mahogany top. Not only does it look cool, but it just gives it a little bit more warmth uh, than what the spruce top was. But again, if you're looking for a little more brightness, a little more punch, that'd be a pretty good option as well. Um, a lot of really good features in this guitar and not a whole lot of expense. And like you said, these are just player ready. They're ready to go right out of the box, set up well, and doing a really good job for an import line. I think we're pretty impressed with most of the breed love stuff. So. That's, uh, that covers most of the specs for the Discovery S. What we're gonna do right now is kind of get you a tone sample so you can kind of hear what it sounds like.
And we really appreciate you guys watching that video. It was my favorite it's one we've made so far. We've, we've done hundreds of videos, and that was the best one. It was. And the next one's gonna be even better. If you'd like to see that, be sure you subscribe to this channel. And also, the more you comment and inter interact below, the more the YouTube algorithms pick it up and start pushing it out to other people, like-minded people. Algorithms? Algorithms, they're everywhere. They permeate the internet, and YouTube's got one. And it watches our videos, and it sees how much you comment, and then it pushes us to other people like you. And we want everyone to experience the, the acoustic shop world where we talk about instruments, we do reviews, we've got some fun videos coming up. We thank you guys so much for being a part of it, and we'll see you in the next video.